we see probably over a hundred images a day on the internet or on our phones or on social media sites. But one little thing that each of you may not have ever known is the fact that behind some of those images being passed between one person to another may contain some secret data. That data could be anything from a secret text message all the way to a virus hidden within the code of an image that you see on the internet daily. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show each of you how that's possible and how you can do it probably within the next couple of minutes if you follow along. Guys, if you enjoy this video and like this video, give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe for more InfoSec Operator tutorials. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at steganography. Alright guys, so I'm going to assume that each of you know how to use Kali Linux or Kali Linux Virtual Machine. So we're not going to go into the details of that. If you need help with getting Kali Linux or Kali Linux Virtual Machine or Linux administration on like how to use Linux in general, go ahead and check out other videos that I have on this channel teaching each of you how to do that. But right now, I'm going from the point of view that each of you know exactly how to use Linux. So... Let's go ahead and get into it. The very first thing that each of you need to do is go to a web browser within Kali Linux and find an image that you would like to hide your data in. I'm going to choose this skull. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save image as and then I'm going to put it into my desktop and I'm going to name it something obvious and easy for, for my own self um, and just save it onto my desktop. So now it's saved and we can see over here on the left, we have skull.jpg, all right. Now the next thing, we can close out our um, web browser and I can move that back up. And then we need to open a terminal. So I have a terminal open here. Now, if you've installed the recent versions of Kali Linux, you'll know that we are not root users. So we need to do a sudo before we do any um, any installation so i'm going to do apt get install stag hide is what the program is called so we got it asking if we would like to take up a little bit of room yes i would love to take up a little bit of room to get this program so we just type in y hit enter and it's going to go ahead and finish downloading once we have it downloaded we're going to change directory into our desktop we can see if we list that I got skull.jpg, but we're gonna cat, which is basically create a file, a text file, uh, and we're gonna do message, and hit enter. Now we're gonna go in and we can, well, we see that message has appeared on the left side under, underneath the skull.jpg, .jpg. We can either edit that message in here in our terminal or you can close out the terminal which would be annoying for this case and then go into message and edit it that way. So I'm just going to stick with editing it within the terminal. So we want a secret message. Now remember uh, we could do almost anything you can imagine as long as the file doesn't get too insanely huge. Um, we can put in there basically whatever we want. For now, I'm just going to give you guys this example, and I'm going to put in text in the message, and then um, it'll save into the message, So, or into the text file. Excuse me. All right, so uh, my message is just going to be, hello, YouTube. Thanks for watching my video. Enter. Please be sure to subscribe and enter again and then control C is saved it. I did not save the control C um, note that we seen here in there though, just so each of you know. Okay, so uh, we have that done. <clears throat> now what we want to do is embed this message into the skull JPG so that way it can't be found unless 
we send it to somebody with a clue to the passcode and you'll see what I mean here by in a second. But once I hide this into the, the skull.jpg, it's not going to be seen by anybody unless I want them to see it or unless they're, you know, really, really good and have an idea that I was doing this in the first place. But again, we look at images so many times every single day and we would never even know if we don't have a keen eye for it. So let's go ahead and actually hide this message now. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is stay hide. Oh, I guess I need to be typing in the terminal. Stay hide. And we want to do embed CF. And we want our image, which would be the name of the image, skull.jpg space. And then we want our our message, the name that we uh, gave our hidden file, which for mine was message. And we want to hit enter. And then we need a passphrase. So if we're sending this to somebody, we want there to be a passcode. So that way, if it is discovered, now they have to break our password to get that message out. So yes, they may know something is off about it, but now how do we actually retrieve what it says and what it does? Well, once we put in a passcode, they have to guess that. And I got to re-enter it again. If you do something easy, it's obviously going to be uh, easily cracked and then the message will come out. But we now have the fact that um, the skull.jpg now has this file embedded into it. We can see here embedding message in skull.jpg and it's done. It's completed. Now to extract a message, all you would do is stake hide extract and then dash sf and then we would do our skull.jpg and hit enter but again you need to know that passphrase so what was the passphrase guys well for mine it was a secret passphrase that i'm not going to share with each of you but it does already exist because i'm the one who created it it's already on my desktop i should have deleted it and you can do, go ahead and delete it after it's embedded and then you'll see but there we go and it uh wrote extract extracted data to message so this all worked out all right so that is how we do some basic steganography using Kali Linux. And uh, you can learn this further um, by checking things out online. And soon I'll have a tutorial of it up on the website that I'm building. But if you guys enjoyed this video, again, please do give it a thumbs up. And please be sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. InfoSec Operator, out.